Askew thinks they're unopposed. Now their greed will be exposed. Poe Askew thinks they're unopposed. So my name is Austin Boscroft. I am the president of CGE. I'm also a worker, a graduate worker here at Oregon State University. Luke Nearhood. I am the vice president for political engagement of CGE and a member of the bargaining team. And I'm a graduate work on the physics department here at Oregon State. So in terms of how we got here, we began bargaining with the university uh, over a year ago now and the pace of negotiations at the outset and really through the entirety uh, has been very slow. The university has stalled and stonewalled and, and drug out negotiations with us. Um, they have failed to give us sufficient financial proposals. They've attempted to lengthen the term of our contract. And so our members have voted to authorize a strike. Our strike began on November 12th. Uh, and we are still out here on the line waiting for the university to come to an agreement that uh, we can ratify. So they came into negotiations back in August of 2023 with a very aggressive posture you know, attacked that we had not seen before in previous bargaining cycles, where initially their lead negotiator was a lawyer from a famously anti-union law firm. The common refrain, when it's convenient to the university, is that the university is not interested in doing anything beyond what they legally have to do at, like, the bare minimum. So we can teach and pave the way. My take home pay after taxes and everything is about $12,000 a year. When I came to Oregon from Arizona as a teacher, I thought things would be slightly better. Oregon State promises this acceptance of diversity and I just don't see them putting their money where their mouth is. Not only is the university refusing to increase our wages to a fair wage, they want to lengthen the term of our contract to lock us in to low wages. Yeah. At the outset of negotiations this year, they proposed a contract which would take us from renegotiating our salary every two years to renegotiating every six years. Yeah. Only after a long fought battle have we brought them down to every four years. The current CGE proposal to the minimum salary will bring the lowest paid workers to a wage which is still below the current average for workers at the present. We are effectively asking OSU to equalize the pay structure for graduate students, not launch our pay to astronomical heights. And we're doing critical research. We are doing research on things that are really important to our communities, our society, and our planet. There are so many wonderful grads out here that I've talked to that are doing research on climate change, on invasive species, on cancer, on viruses. We are also instructor of record. We are given one week of orientation to prepare to fully plan, lead, and grade our own course. We did an income survey in my department last year and found that people on average were spending two thirds of their income on rent, which means that even a 100% raise would just keep us from being rent burdened. This is a sit-in um, for just strikers who are hoping to maybe get some stuff done because uh, we're still in school. We are the lowest paid instructor of records at the university. Um, and what that means for me is that I have to have another job to pay my bills. I also have to take out student loans. Um, and I also door dash sometimes on the side. I also am uh, raising my uh, six, 17 year old sister. Uh, and it is uh, a lot of work to be able to take care of her and to take care of myself. Um, and if we don't get a raise that is able to help us pay our bills, then there are uh, there's a situation where I see myself dropping out before I can graduate. This is my friend Mozart, and we are out here marching in solidarity with CGE. We just haven't been able to concentrate on our academics and, and teaching, which is what we came here to do. And my advisor keeps reminding me that like, you came here for a reason not to constantly be struggling for a cause, but we don't really have any choice. I'm grateful to have a community in Corvallis like this that I love so much, but you know, not being able to eat or see your family and stressing out about your medical bills is not really conducive 
expensive to research. When I heard that after we went on strike, OSU gave us a worse offer, that was kind of a gut punch. The day after that, so many people showed up. Like that was really nice and comforting. And I was like, okay, we, we, we are so back. Talk about the details, but essentially it's bullshit. Um, yeah, so uh, OSU came into the bargaining session today and they gave us like a whole, I think, like 0.5% increase to one of the merit increases in the second year. So they're just moving money around. Okay, so I guess now, like, I, I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling pretty pissed. <laughs> Um, like I'm feeling really mad and I'm also really worried right because we're facing like Thanksgiving break and I know we did hundreds of calls to members and they said they're willing to miss a paycheck and they want to keep fighting is that still true yeah. okay I think it's time to start planning some more disruptive actions who is down to do that Woo. Because I think that's what's gonna what it's gonna take, right? Like we're gonna do some organizing on Monday. We're gonna get more people out to the picket. That's great. I think we're also gonna need to step up our disruption. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because yeah. what we're doing right now is not motivating them. We're following your your advice and not underestimating the value of our own disruption of this university. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go home and forget that I shit. Nobody here gets to go home and not be able to eat. You are who you are as a person. This is not different. You get to leave this at work. You know, we've been negotiating since last November, and it's clear that just talking and negotiating with OSU is not enough, right? And the whole point of striking is to make them see, like, that our labor is necessary for the university to function. Now we're on strike, and they're, you know, either giving us little to no movement or walking back proposals and so they're putting us in a position where we need to disrupt we need to make sure that osu can't continue to function without our labor This is um, a quote taken from the Oregon State University five-year analysis for AAUP, which is the American Association for University Professors, and it states, at OSU, the athletics program has operated at a multi-million dollar deficit for the past nine years. It appears that the fall year 2023 deficit is not directly attributable to the Pac-12. The solution is instead related to structural and ongoing imbalances in athletics revenue and expenses. The athletics student aid has only grown by 11.7%, while the compensation for coaches and support slash admin have each grown over 80% in the last 10 years. Get down! Corvallis is a union town! Get out! Get down! Corvallis! 
saw that $17.9 million were funneled from the education program towards the athletics program directly. Um, and if you were around the football game, we actually were able to project that on the side of the building um, for students to see. OSU has the means um, to support their students and it's a choice at every step not to. We're not the ones who are halting education. It is the administration's reluctance to make sure that all students, including grad students, are cared for and, and able to live comfortably while teaching. Struthers. I'm the president for the classified workers here on campus with SEIU 503 and showing solidarity with our other unions is so important it shows that you know the workers matter workers support each other and at the end of the day we're gonna have each other's back we're here for the undergrad student worker unionization effort we're also just trying to um, unionize unrepresented student workers and really I think it's all connected because if you look at, I mean, we've talked to the classified union, we win higher wages, and then we want, we have places putting in student workers with lower wages to try to compensate. We have, uh, we see right now even with undergrad TAs in certain cases being asked to scab for graduate TAs. So when we're able to get all campus workers to a better standard, to better wages, better working conditions, that's going to help everybody. of the recent election, I feel like labor movements are a really natural home for a lot of us to show up and express our sadness and anger and frustration um, with where this country is and where it's headed. I really appreciate CGE <laughs> going on strike right now. It's kind of perfect timing for a lot of us to show up and feel like we're actually fighting on the right side of something that's pure, um, which is really hard to come by these days. There is a rise of authoritarianism happening nationally, happening at universities, happening internationally. And part of how I think about responses to authoritarianism is that part of how they work is through fear. And that if we give in to fear at the small local level, that feeds into the larger culture of giving in to fear. And so to me, the grad students standing up for their rights, standing up for an equitable and just wage, and, and resisting the attempts to intimidate them and browbeat them and, and outweigh them on that, that is standing up for what is right and just. In institutions, like education should be, um, should, it should be oriented towards like making, making a better world, like in preparing students for the world that we want to live in and not replicating the structures that we are trying to dismantle and replace with something better.
part of the reason I chose to come to Oregon State for grad school was because we're unionized. And so I've been involved with CGE pretty much since I got here. Yeah, it's a community. Before CGE, I never really felt like I was a part of anything. I found something I can be a part of that I can feel good about being a part of and through, you know, this union, make the world a better place. Let's get it. When the union's inspiration through the workers' blood shall run, there can be no crowd to grow anywhere beneath the sun. Yet what force on earth is weaker than the feeble strength of one? When the union makes us strong, is there aught we hold in common with the greedy parasite who would lash us into serve the man would crush us with his might? Is there any? Everyone, that was brutal. <laughs>